Mexico magazine published monthly. It features topics from around the land of enchantment, including multicultural heritage, arts, climate, environment, diverse people. Uh, and today we're here with editor in chief Dave Herndon talking about what's next. Yep, that is the that is the topic. And I got to tell you guys, uh, I, I read through this uh, this magazine over the weekend. This is a great issue. There are so many great things, <laughs> not just really on the horizon. I mean, but New Mexico overall, we are. We are one of the it places to be, it seems, right now. Uh, I, it feels like we're, we're uh, poised for you know, yeah. greater success. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and, you know, for individual people, entrepreneurs that have mm -hmm. great ideas that want to take them to market, we're calling this like the, the movers and the makers, right. the picklers and the bakers. You know, and the, because that kind of says um, there's an arc uh, from people who have a cottage industry or an, you know, an art studio idea, mm -hmm. Now they can take it to an incubator or take it to a maker space mm -hmm. or take it to a community kitchen and get some uh, help with a business plan, get yeah. some help with office space or whatever the equipment, whatever they need. Right. Then there are people here to help them um, find investors Facilitate, too. Yeah. So it's like it's the economic development uh, angle of um, sort of growing grassroots businesses right. here using our 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 assets, the right. talent that's here. Well, let's let's start up north, actually, with with what I think is a really fascinating story right. uh, that happened up in Taos. A couple of you know childhood friends they come back together and they they take as as you said a community kitchen prototype right. into a multi million dollar business. Yeah, so a couple of ski bums in Taos um, who uh, had a great season, ninety days on the mountain, and then you know came mud season and they said, "What do we do now?" Mm -hmm. And um, and they were uh, they developed a line of energy bars they call mm -hmm. Taos Mountain energy bars they mm -hmm. used a community kitchen to um, to develop their product mm -hmm. um, they started taking it to market themselves just uh, out of the back of their cars now they're uh, in within five years they're in uh, 1500 outlets mm -hmm. they're a five million dollar a year business they, uh, they got a state grant to um, build a new production facility in mm -hmm. Cuesta they're high they've, now they have like 15 or 20 employees right. It's a huge success story that starts with, you know, the asset of Taos Mountain and, mm -hmm. the, and the skiing and um, sort of leveraging that ethos, you know, into a brand right. that, um, you Clearly know. Clearly is becoming that, very successful. That is a success and is, you know, it's, it's just a, a feel-good story yeah. all around. Yeah, and they're, they're keeping it local, which is great. They're, they're keeping their facility in the Enchanted Circle area. Yes. You know, going well, they need up. jobs up there. Yeah, exactly. So uh, moving a little further south, though, uh, to yeah. Santa Fe. Right. Of course, Santa Fe has always been a hub. Georgia, it goes back to Georgia O'Keefe, right. the modernism movement. But there, there is a new movement of arts, culture, sub-pop, all that stuff going right. on in the city difference. So, yes, as you point out, you know, uh, there's a great, you know, Santa Fe has a traditional identity. Right. Um, and um, but and now there's something that's happening. It's a little more millennial in nature. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, 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 the center of gravity isn't just the plaza and Canyon Road right. anymore. There are gastro pubs and breweries coming up in different parts of town. There are indie movie houses mm -hmm. and um, arts festivals that you know don't have anything to do with you know Indian market or Spanish right. colonial market or anything like that. Um, so there's a lot of new choices and a lot of new opportunities mm -hmm. in Santa Fe for people that live there, people who want to get work there, mm -hmm. and um, visitors. Now, speaking of Santa Fe, diving a little further in, there's an organization which, you know, trying to wrap my head around exactly how they're doing this, uh, <laughs> because it seems like a pretty progressive uh, art installation, and that is the Meow Wolf. And they're, they're looking to make... And correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, an interactive uh, destination yeah. Yeah, for people to come to. It's, it's an art piece as well, It's basically right? going to be an attraction. Okay. Uh, you know, and they want it to be, they think it's going to be a top family attraction. Right. So, um, but it's also something that's going to attract in the attention of the international art community uh -huh. uh, because it's a kind of a merging of, you know, the creative class and a younger version of it um, who are using a lot of high-tech uh, tools to create what is a, you know an interactive uh, experience that's kind of like going to be a little psychedelic like you right. go into a, a Victorian mansion and then you crawl through a dishwasher or something and all of a sudden you're in some enchanted forest with uh, you know mastodon bones you can play like a xylophone i mean you know it's going to be only in Santa yeah, Fe yeah. <laughs> but it's going to help um, attract a different kind yeah. of attention and a, a, a new clientele yeah. and put Santa Fe on the map for the 21st century. Yeah, which is really exciting. All right, last question I have for you. Uh, tell me who Dr. Field Good is. Doc, he's a uh, chef who uh, is a great example of this sort of progress we're talking about, the arc of success from a food truck 
to a uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. to a uh, opening up a bakery and butcher shop, and you know, wow. and so it's just this progression that we're seeing in a lot of different um, parts of the yeah. of, of the state. Um, yeah. And it's just another example, like the Taos Mountain Energy guys, like the yeah. um, Meow Wolf. Like you know, you have your idea, you mm -hmm. get some support, you grow it. You you know, that's yeah. the way. It's, that's the way it happens here. We don't have yeah. a lot of big companies providing a lot of um, you know entry level jobs. But the you know the makers and the maker the makers sort of ideology really yes. seems to be very strong, very powerful here. Uh, we're not done talking about this issue. When we come back, we're going to talk about, you know, speaking of makers yeah. and multi-billion dollar industries, uh, there's yeah. a lot more. You're going to want to find out about this, guys. Uh, before we talk to the author about what's going on in downtown Albuquerque, though, again, nmmagazine.com, right. best place to get your subscription for this. Right. right, and we have free digital issues of the magazine on nmmagazine.com. Really? So you okay. go to the homepage, click on the free digital edition. We're giving it away free this month because we're so happy about it. We think it's a great uh, message to get out. Fantastic. Dave, always a pleasure. Again, guys, stay with us. When we come back on Style, we are finding out more about the Renaissance.